Hi there! In this video I want to go over the virtually proctored exams on Zoom. So every math class has proctored exams, so there's no way to get out of that unfortunately. Um, but you can now for online and remote classes, you can take your tests um, virtual, uh, virtually proctored on Zoom with your instructor. Now this is an option, so you don't have to do this if you're feeling like this is too much or you don't have the right technology or you don't have a quiet space, then please do arrange to take your test on campus. So that is still an option. Okay. So if you're taking your test in person on a campus, you do not need to watch this video. If you're not sure, watch the video. And if you're taking it in, on Zoom, then please do watch this video. But if you've read through, I'm just going to go through the exact same information. I just want to have it in video form as well as in a written document. So if you feel like you've got it from reading, that is fine too. I personally like to hear things and see things at the same time. So that's what I'm going to do is just walk through this um, document. So, And then I will also have some setup sessions. So look for an announcement with um, it might be during my student help hours and it'll probably be an, another some additional times when you can come and just check your zoom setup and your check your workspace setup and make sure you've got it all kind of you've got a plan for how it's going to go so you're welcome to do that beforehand if you want and that kind of takes away some of that anxiety uh, for the, the actual test time okay so i'm happy to to go over that with you so let's just kind of walk through this document. There's an outline here on the left. Um, as far as technology, you will need a computer and a detachable webcam or a, like a phone. Um, you cannot do this. Unfortunately, this will not work with just a tablet or just a phone. Okay, because you'll see there's a lot of different elements going on. So if you don't have um, a laptop or a desktop, then please... Um, See me about taking your test in person campus um, because the reason you need this detachable device either like one of those little webcams that sits on your computer or a smartphone that has a camera on it um, you'll be showing your table your workspace okay we will not be scanning the whole room okay that is a kind of invasion of privacy so we will not be scanning the whole room but you will need to show your workspace and I'll show you some, some photos down here. Okay. And just remember, this is an option. So you can, this option was provided so that nobody is required to come to campus. Okay. But if you choose to, you can definitely do that. So here's a step-by-step -step guide. So before exam day, again, repeating that you need a desktop or a laptop, you need microphone and speakers and you need it to access Zoom. Okay. So you'll be using, you'll be taking your test on the computer, and I'm going to make uh, another video about the MyOpen Math setup. So uh, look for that as well. And then here's what um, this is one example of what your workspace might look like. So you'll have uh, either off to the side, you'll have a little webcam, or you'll have a, a smartphone that's also logged into Zoom. Okay and um, you'll also be sharing your screen because we're doing the test online um, but you can also write your steps on paper if you want to you'll also be showing your screen okay okay so here's a nice checklist for before the exam day um, this is a zoom test meeting so this just takes you to like a blank zoom meeting and it helps you check your microphone and speakers so you're welcome to do that but if you've used it recently you probably don't need to do that okay and then here's setting up your video to show your workspace so this would be like your blank desk you know clear a space around my desk is a mess right now but clear a space around your desk and then you would just have your paper that you're writing on your pen or pencil your calculator coffee if you or water if you want it anything like that so if you're using a detachable webcam, you would kind of, you know, get a way that you can you could prop it up on something and um, connect it and put it over here so it can just kind of focus down on your workspace. Or if you're using a phone to do that, you would, you're going to join uh, Zoom from your phone. So try practicing that as well. Okay. And then um, test your speakers and microphone. 
practice using the chat. So during the test, we don't want to be distracting people by talking. So if you were to have a question or need clarification on something, you would type in the chat and I will reply to you by chat. Okay. Also, we'll use the raised hand feature. So um, if that's another thing um, we'll use, you could use it for questions, but you can also just type in the chat. But if, when we're getting time for checkout, I'm going to have you raise your hand. So there's kind of like a line to check people out. Um, for showing your photo ID, that's just common practice when we're not in an in-person class and not seeing each other regularly. Um, you would just hold up your ID to the to your webcam and I'll check there. Um, and here's just some more info about if you want to check your internet speed test or um, Zoom bandwidth or anything like that. And then this last one is something you're already used to doing, I think, which is scanning uh, a document for your homework. You're scanning your pages and uploading to D2L. Okay, if you preferred to write in a document, you could do that in a Word or Google Doc, you could do that as well. Or I'll show you in the other video, um, you can also type your steps right in the My Open Math test. So you've got a variety of things for whatever fits you the best. Okay, so that's what that's about if you're not familiar yet with scanning and uploading um, pages. So you'll actually be put, you'll be uploading your work to D2L but you'll be doing the test in my open math. And that's because in D2L, it's easier for me to write comments on your work and um, use the little uh, pencil. I can't really do that in, uh, in the my open math. Okay, so that's all getting set up beforehand. Then on the test day, and by the way, you're welcome to come, you know, come join one of my um, Zoom times, you know, before the test to, uh, to check that out and go over it with me. Okay, so then during the test, you're going to get your environment all set up. Um, do make sure you have a quiet space, okay? Because you want this two hours to be dedicated to taking your test. I wouldn't, you won't be able to take care of your kids or your mother or your neighbor or anything like that because that's going to take time away from your test. It's going to take focus away from your test. I would think that would be really stressful. So. Make sure you have a quiet space that's isolated, you've got signs on the door, whatever. Um, and if that's not possible, then set up a time to go to campus, okay? Okay, so you'll be joining the Zoom. Definitely wanna join a little bit early just to get, make sure you've got plenty of time to set that all up. You'll be sharing your screen, so practice sharing your screen in advance. Um, you'll have your mic on actually during the test and that's just so you know someone I don't think anyone would try to cheat that way but it's just pra just standard practice to have your mic on during the test but you can turn down your volume so you, that you're not hearing any, anything from other people and it won't be distracting might want to open up your zoom chat so um, I will like be giving the password through the chat and I'll, I'll probably be communicating through the chat um, as well. Oops, looks like I'm going the right, this goes across. Um, so I'm going the wrong way here. Um, prepare your computer. So all, um, that's my other video is getting all your windows that you need set up and then closing any windows that you're not using. Turning on your video and remember, it doesn't have to be uh, pointed at you like this because that doesn't really show me in, in your workspace. So it would either be off to the side, well, it would be off to the side, either the, the webcam, the detachable webcam or your phone. Okay. And then, so we'll be doing it going through a check-in process. So um, that's where you show your ID. And, um, just, you know, I'll walk I'll walk through with you like, okay, you're, yes, your setup looks good. That's acceptable to me. So you're good to go. And then you can just wait to, um, to start the test. Here's the part about turning down the speaker. So you'll have your volume on um, and be unmuted, but then you'll turn your speakers down. So I do that on my, my computer settings, or if you have like a plug-in speaker, you can turn it down like that. Um, and that's so you don't um, have, get any, distraction, any distractions from anybody else. Okay, and so then you'll actually do the fun part, hopefully, the, the good part of showing all the knowledge you've 
knowledge and skills you've gained by doing the actual work and that's what I'll show you on the other video and then you'll raise your hand for checkout okay now usually people finish at different times and so you probably won't have to wait too long um, but just in case people finish at multiple times that's why we use the raise hand feature and that's in the reactions button and I'll remind you of all this in the chat when we're in, in the test time I'm not expecting you to remember all of this um, and so uh, one at a time well, I'm just checking to make sure I can see all your work in my open math you're going to you know scan your documents so oh, at this point you might need your phone to scan your documents right so just wait until the checkout and I'll say okay great so I see all your stuff in my open math now you can take your phone and um, scan your documents and then you'll upload that to, to D2L okay of course if you've written everything in my open math or if you've written everything in a Google Doc or Word Doc then you don't need to do that part but you would still upload a, a document to um, D2L unless you wrote everything in the my open math okay great so here is some good examples of setting up your workspace view so this one again where you can see the desktop the paper here's another one that's good here's another one here's some that aren't good because I can just only see the person's face or I can't see the full workspace okay um, there's some other videos here that you're welcome to watch if that's helpful okay and some even more details on how to set this up okay so for this is the detachable webcam and then here's for a mobile device so you want to have like just make a stack of books or something that you can prop your phone up on or you can put your detachable webcam on so that um, it will kind of sh just show your workspace there play around with it because you don't want it too close you don't want it too far um, and just uh, just so I can see your your workspace um, uh, if you're using a, a mobile device like a phone then you need to join zoom on both things okay of course if you forget I'll remind you okay more details on the technology and environmental um, requirements I want to emphasize that quiet isolated well-lit location so please make sure that you're not going to have distraction okay okay some more instructions on scanning a file so if you haven't done that before here's a little picture of someone doing that then um, there's lots of different videos depending on what technology you have there okay now if you have um, accommodations through PCC then you might be taking your test with accessible ed and you it will be similar to this um, on zoom or if you've chosen then it you can also do that in person okay so it might not be with me it may be with another proctor um, and if you're doing your test in person um, well you're probably not watching this video uh, but in case you're still trying to decide um, it you would take your test in person but still on my open math so all the my open math stuff is the same but you would just be um, in a PCC room with a computer okay? student code of conduct of course everyone's going to do their own work that's why that's what I want to see is not somebody else's work or knowledge um, so I'll show you in the other video my open math what you can use and what you can't use and then of course questions so if you have any questions about the process please let me know and I will do my best to help you out okay okay great so I hope that helps give you a little better sense of how this is going to work and please do come to one of my zoom sessions so um, if you're worried about it at all please come and I'll help you get you know make sure that it looks like a good setup and I'll answer any questions you have and you can practice your zoom and screen share and um, muting unmuting raise hand and all that good stuff okay okay so best of uh, best wishes for preparing for the test and I hope to see you soon in a zoom meeting okay bye-bye